Dai committee members in charge of investigating the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant accident are visiting Chernobyl in the Ukraine to learn about health hazards and the processing of nuclear waste. Four members of the committee have been seeing firsthand the ongoing activities 26 years after the nuclear accident in the former Soviet Republic. On Friday, they went to the site to observe nuclear waste disposal measures, how the failed reactor was reinforced and health checks carried out on workers. Leading panel member Kenzo Oshima, who once served as Japan's UN ambassador, said the committee can learn a great lesson from Chernobyl. Chernobyl is an important precedent for Japan. We will learn a lesson from it and make use of the experience fully to tackle the Fukushima accident. Another committee member, disaster survivor and evacuee, Reiko Hachiska, wants Japan's government to fully consider the feelings of residents in Fukushima. I feel we are going through the same things as people in Chernobyl. The investigative committee plans to include the result of its visit to Chernobyl in its report due in June. Japan and Ukraine have concluded a deal that will allow them to cooperate on post-nuclear disaster issues. The two countries have endured the worst nuclear crises in history. Japan began negotiating the deal in January following the Fukushima nuclear accident last year. Ukraine suffered enormous damage from the 1986 Chernobyl accident. Japan's Foreign Minister Koichiro Gemba and Ukrainian Emergency Minister Viktor Baloga signed the agreement in Tokyo on Wednesday. The deal means that both sides will share their experiences, efforts and knowledge with the international community. They will also exchange information on the impact of the disasters on human health and the environment and other areas. The deal includes mutual visits by researchers and engineers. Workers in Chernobyl are marking the 26th anniversary of the accident there with another effort to limit the damage. They are building a new shelter to cover the one built after the disaster. They fear the old shell might collapse and release radioactive substances. The work got underway 26 years to the day after the reactor exploded during the test. Ukrainian government officials plan to build an arch-shaped containment building more than 100 meters high. It will cover the shell around reactor number 4. Workers expect to complete construction in three years. The cost, more than $1.2 billion. I am pleased to say that Ukraine was not left alone to face the tragedy. We felt the whole world came to help us. The evidence of that is the financial support of the countries that donated to the Chernobyl Fund. Yanukovych stressed the international cooperation has become more crucial after the accident last year at Fukushima Daiichi. The president promised to help the two million people affected by the disaster. Still, former plant workers and residents held a rally in Kiev. They say the government is not doing enough. A Japanese diet commission looking into the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant has just completed a visit to Chernobyl. Its objective was to see firsthand what measures have been taken ever since the 1986 nuclear accident. NHK World's Hideo Ama reports. Reiko Hachiska is one of the commission members. She used to run a flower shop about five kilometers from the stricken Fukushima plant but she was forced to evacuate along with everyone else. Hachisuka says she joined the trip because she wanted to see how Kleina is handling the cleanup in Chernobyl and hopefully learn something to help with the restoration of her hometown. The group went to Pripyat, the town near Chernobyl, where the plant workers used to live. The former residents have not been allowed to return to their town, now a ghost town, since they were told by the government that they would have to evacuate for only three days. The distance from the Hachiska's home to the Fukushima plant is almost the same as the distance from here to Chernobyl. It breaks my heart seeing the situation here. 
Nuclear accidents must not be allowed to happen again. Hachisuka and the other members visit the facility within the restricted zone where the radioactive materials are being buried. They watch truckloads of radioactive waste being brought in one after another. Although 26 years have passed, the disposal work is still not complete. The facility has been accepting more than 50,000 cubic meters of radioactive waste a year, but it's expected to reach full capacity soon. Workers say a new burial site must be built elsewhere. The Ukrainian government conducts regular environmental assessments of the contaminated zone within 30 kilometers of the Chernobyl plant. It measures and monitors the air and water in this area and regularly catch the fish in the rivers and lake to check their radioactivity level. That's because radioactive substances accumulate on the bottom of lakes and river. Hachiska thought many parts of the system that Ukraine is using to monitor radioactivity are applicable to Fukushima. As I look back on myself a year ago, I realized that people in Chernobyl have walked the same path. There's so much to learn from what happened here. The Commission will release a report in June on the Fukushima accident. It will include details of the visit to Chernobyl.